We are now going to present the chapter of the year award winners. Kelly Lavinda, <laughs> coming to the stage. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kelly Lavinda, as she said. <laughs> I'm the student programs attorney at the Animal Legal Defense Fund, so I've probably talked to many of you over email, so come say hi this weekend so I can meet you in person. I have the honor of giving out the Student Chapter of the Year Awards. Um, these awards celebrate chapters that have shown incredible efforts in the field of animal law and advocating th for animals through original projects and initiatives. Animal Legal Defense Fund student chapters are a vital part of the growing animal law movement. Through raising awareness of the field of animal law at your schools, you're showing your law school community that animal protection is a serious social justice issue. You are the future attorneys, legislators, and judges who will be influential advocates for changing the law to better protect animals. This award is a way for the Animal Legal Defense Fund to say thank you for all of your hard work. I also wanted to give a special thank you to everyone who submitted their chapter for consideration this year. The entries this year were really amazing, <laughs> outstanding. Um, so we have two recipients this year, the University of Wisconsin student chapter and the Florida State University student chapter. Yeah. <laughs> I want to tell you a little bit about what each chapter did last year. Um, so during the 2017-2018 year, the University of Wisconsin hosted speakers on the link between animal abuse and violence towards humans, raised money for the Dane County Humane Society and Alliance for Animals, volunteered at a local farm sanctuary, Heartland Farm Sanctuary, began the process of creating a law school-wide animal law pro bono program, held numerous meetings during discussing the possibility of incorporating an animal law course into the curriculum, and we can help you with that if anyone else wants to take that project on, published a Professors with Pets cal calendar, started a partnership with a local organization sheltering animals of abuse victims, and they actually held a joint conference earlier in October. They uh, petitioned for exclusively plant-based food at university-hosted events, incorporated two chapters of animal law, new perspectives on teaching animal law, into established 1L courses. And we actually have a sign-up sheet out there so you can request a book if this is a project that you want to do, too, for your chapter. And they're also launching a new student-led animal law op-ed committee. Hannah is accepting the award for the chapter. Please come up and get your award. Over the last academic year, um, Florida State University um, was also very busy. Um, they hosted a speaker every month who presented on current animal law issues, including endangered spe species, captive wildlife laws in Florida, and confined animal feeding operations, factory farms. They co-hosted the speaking events with different student groups on campus, allowing their events to gain a larger audience. During National Justice for Animals Week, which is a week that Animal Legal Defense Fund has every year, Week of Action for Farmed anim or <laughs> Companion Animals, uh, the chapter hosted two speakers per day, a professor in the morning who talked about how their area of law overlapped with animal law, and then a lawyer in the, in the afternoon um, who talked about animal law and their specialty. The chapter also provides monthly volunteer opportunities for its chapter members, including um, volunteering at a local animal shelter, and um, fundraising for local organizations. The chapter hosted a law mixer for networking called Paw and Order <laughs> um, for law students to meet local lawyers. Um, they worked with us with Animal Legal Defense Fund on the Florida Orca Protection Act. So this is a piece of legislation that we're trying to get passed in Florida. And so they helped us host a screening of the film Blackfish. They also screened Unlocking the Cage, um, which is about non-human rights project fight for animal rights. And they hosted um, Kevin Schneider from the from Non-Human Rights Project after. Um, they also showed Unchained with Carol Buckley for Elephant Aid International speaking afterwards. Laurel, Ashley, Jasmine, and Judah will be accepting the award. Please come up to get it.
Okay. Thank you so much for all your hard work for animals. Even if you didn't get an award, we still appreciate you, and we're inspired by you every day. You are the future of animal law. It's corny, but it's true. And now we will have a 10-minute break before the next panel.